Bringing the Cricket World Cup to Luton was something that Cricket East as an organisation um, led on and brought it to Luton predominantly to continue the legacy of um, England's success over summer. Getting in at Luton from the 24th of October to the 29th of October was something that we could never have imagined and we were very fortunate to have the opportunity to have the World Cup in Luton for that period. We've been to a, a, a mosque, a Gurdwara, a Hindu temple, we've covered the business community with Metro Bank and a networking breakfast, we've been to London Luton Airport so we can give the opportunity to uh, travellers who have come to the airport to have an opportunity to take a picture with the Cricket World Cup. Um, we've managed to engage colleges, school, secondary schools and primary schools. The World Cup being here has uh, brought the communities together, it's brought religions together and it's, it's acted as a platform that's allowed us to showcase the power of sport, the power of cricket and how it can impact social cohesion. We talk about multiculturalism and it happens through sport. We're very honoured and proud to have the Cricket World Cup in Luton and to unite the town and, and bring them all together on the platform of cricket. Here we are on day four of five visiting 23 locations for the Luton World Cup Trophy Cricket Tour. We're going across a range of faith community premises, we're going across colleges and schools, and we're going to community events and clubs, proving the power of community cohesion, engagement, and the power that cricket can actually bring. We're working in partnership with Amran at the Lord's Taverners Wickets Programme, and we're fortunate for the consent and agreement of the ECB to bring the trophy to Luton for these five days. As you can see, fantastic reception from everywhere we go. It's really great to see the power of cricket coming to Luton and this opportunity to showcase cricket. What Wickets and uh, uh, Cricket East are doing I think is tremendous for the youth because today the youth need to be engaged. This initiative that has been taken by Wickets and uh, Cricket East really helps to keep the children engaged. Sports is a great way of engaging because sports has no barriers uh, of anything and I think it brings the youth, it engages them to be uh, team workers, team leaders and also to be tolerant of diversity, inclusiveness. So all of those things that we really need in the society today, in the communities today, I think Wickets and Cricket East are doing it fabulously. We are really proud of our team, England team, who have won this World Cup. And this World Cup has re really created great enthusiasm and uh, uh, a buzz in the town where people are, are being galvanized. And we've seen people from around the town, around the county, mixing together, having fun together, having food together. So this is having a massive impact on our society, not only just uh, for the growth and development of our kids, but bringing communities together. And sport can play a massive role moving forward in creating more integrated and cohesive community. Over five days in Luton, it is through sports diplomacy that we have taken the Cricket World Cup to 23 locations, engaged 3,000 people, managing to create individual and group bonds, forming closer partnerships and helping integrate new members into local and regional communities through a shared sense of teamwork and effort. Thanks to Nick Pride from ECB and the South Asian Call City programme for the Cricket World Cup. Thanks to Strawberry Star as our tour sponsors and Robin Porter and Luton Borough Council team for their guidance and support. Last but not least, we are very grateful to Dr Simon Rofe, co-founder of Sports Diplomacy from the Centre of International Studies at SOAS University of London that has allowed us to understand that sport transcends national borders with its ability to bring together people of different backgrounds, cultures, genders, races and places but it can also help to foster community. Thank you.